he uh, he was he came back from London in Italy. Uh, we made a press conference in Rome, and uh, then he he insisted with the British authorities in order to go back to London. He th he was thinking about to help authorities in order to rebuild, re uh, give everything he could about that terrible first of November in Piccadilly Circus. Then he went to London and he called me uh, a couple of days later, strangely pleased and uh, happy, saying, my God, they are treating me like a prince. <laughs> they put me in a beautiful castle, I have a, a huge protection, and they told me they considered me um, uh, a source and a collaborator, and they told me that I, I never was suspected, because at first it was a suspect that he was, could be the poisoner of Litvinenko, and then he disappeared for many days. I tried to call him through his mobile phone, which was off, and uh, eventually uh, his father yesterday uh, called me uh, around 6 p.m. Italian time, 5 p.m. Uh, 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 British time, and saying, almost crying, that I'm sorry, sir, I never met you, but my son Mario uh, asked me to call you, and uh, apparently he is in a hospital, he was found poisoned, and the doctor today told him that he is going to die, even if he's in a perfect uh, state of health, apparently. But uh, he uh, assumed uh, an amount of this um, polonium, uh, which is lethal. And he was crying, and he asked me to ask you to, me, uh, to protect him, uh, his, to protect his image, to protect his honorability to protect the work he did for you and for the Italian Parliament. He's very, very scared, not only to die, not only for, because he is a young man, he's now 36, and he has children. And he said, but because he's terrified at the idea that he could die uh, without possibility of defending himself uh, 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 by all the horrible uh, accusation fabrication in these days uh, against him and me. So he, uh, uh, the message is, please protect my name and my image.